Welcome back, everyone. As we told you at the beginning of the show, a man described by police as a local drug lord is headed to prison for decades. Just this week, Darren Southall reached a plea deal. WKRG News 5's Nicolette Schleisman rejoins us now live in the studio with more on this. Nicolette? Yeah, Rosanna, Mobile Police say putting someone like Darren Southall behind bars is big news for this city. It's a great day uh, in, in the city of Mobile to be able to have someone of this magnitude taking off the streets and taking out of the drug trade. Darren Southall will be off the streets after entering a plea deal. He faces anywhere from 30 to 35 years behind bars for his crimes. Having him uh, take a plea uh, uh, with significant uh, jail time associated with that plea means a, a lot to this community as a whole. Uh, for somebody like him to not, not be able to be able to be back on the street. South Hall has a long criminal history dating back to the 1990s. Federal prosecutors labeled him a ringleader in a multi state, multi million dollar drug organization since at least 2016. We are a major uh, connect for uh, where drugs are being transported from, primarily. And, and oftentimes, many of those drugs find their way into our community simply because we are a major thoroughfare for those uh, drugs to, to make them put their way to other places. Mobile police say his arrest will make an impact. Our hope and desire is that one, not only do we cripple him in what he's been able to do, but maybe cripple any others that uh, may be looking to come up and, and fill the void that has been created. Uh, by him. With this plea, Southall admits he's accountable for 4,000 kilograms of cocaine, 24 kilograms of heroin, and he admits he took in about $24 million during the time of his operation. According to court documents, Southall did some of his business in Mobile, Mississippi, and Texas. We need to hold them accountable for the behavior because the drug trade typically drives other types of crime burglaries, homicides, assaults. Now, his sentencing for this federal case is set for February 18th.